Welcome, brothers and sisters. You know, um, there is a huge push to get your children back in the school system. You know, because you have signed a contract with the state to educate your children. And this is a literal contract, a working contract that they must, that they insist that you obligate your children to. You know, they need you to enter into the school systems where they indoctrinate your children and your children receive a piece of paper. You know, we've been, you know, the kids have been out of school for like a year and they've been learning all sorts of things. They've been learning how this world actually works, not what they've been told, not what they've been indoctrinated into believing. They've seen things that they were not supposed to be seen. They saw they they've seen things that they were not actually supposed to see, which is how the world actually operates. You know, just because you signed that contract, you take your children down to these schools and you are signing a legally binding contract. You are basically selling your children over to the school systems and to have them indoctrinated. And what they receive at the end of this indoctrination is a permission slip to get a job. A permission slip, you know? You have a permission to work. <laughs> man, this is this is this is wicked, man. This is very wicked. You know? The wickedness in it is that they do not teach your children the truth. And that contract that they give them does not actually entitle them to a job. You know? A child should be thinking about what he's going to do way earlier than when he turns 18. He should, I mean, he should be thinking about it when he's about 13. You don't wait till a child is 18 and then throw him out into the world. Just as when you enter into their higher education facilities, where they do mass, where they do mass brainwashing based on what they want to push out over the next 50 years. You know? They are basically setting you up for what uh, what they want what their agenda is for the next 50 years that's why they started teaching all of these woman studies classes all of this gender studies classes you know they're trying to push a homosexual non-sexual agenda gender fluidity you know now your children can enter these school systems and the schools tell are, are, are telling them that you're not actually a boy that your parents have misled you you're not actually a girl your parents made that decision for you and that wasn't right it wasn't right for your mother to tell you or your father to tell you that you are a boy or a girl. You have the right to decide. These school systems have given themselves permission to tell your children, I mean children, not even, not, not teenagers, I mean children, that they're not really a boy or a girl. When you grow up, 
you get to decide what you really want to be. In fact, you can decide right now. So when your children are coming home all confused, they don't know if they're a boy or a girl, you understand that this is what they're teaching them at school. They're pushing their agenda onto your children because this is the easiest way to achieve your goals is to target the children because children don't have any means by which to judge things. They don't have a foundation that they stand upon unless, you know, especially in these black households where the mother is too busy watching stories and the father, who knows if he's even in the home or even if he tried to instill any type of values that he wanted in his children, the school systems are there to tell you that you're wrong. You're not a you don't have the right to tell your children who they are, what they are, how to think, what to do. We have the right to do that. So when you go when when this when you see that this society is in such a big rush to get your children back in school get your children back into the indoctrination camps of lies and deceit you know you have to actually you you have to question it man you know, you have to question it. I mean, they don't care who gets sick. They don't care. They don't care about anything. We got to get these kids back to school and we got to get these people back to work. Because because work is is designed to tie up your time helping them build their damn kingdom. You know, you go to work while they while your dumb ass is at work thinking you doing something. Not seeing how you've been played, you know, not seeing how you being played. They got your children in these schools. You're not raising your damn children. They're raising your children. So when your damn child comes home talking about mommy, daddy, uh, don't be calling me no girl. Don't be calling me no boy. I don't know what I'm, I'm I am yet. I'm fluid. I'm gender fluid. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I don't even know what to call these things. You know? I mean, pretty soon it's going to be so much confusion that they're going to have boy girls. Boy girls. Like boy and girl. You you both. <laughs> you're not a boy or a girl, you're a boy and a girl. You know, this is the this is the level of confusion. I mean, and what is the purpose of it? What is the purpose of it? You know? But while you Negroes are at work thinking you're doing the damn thing, when you dumb boule wannabe idiots are at your jobs playing games, guess who's guess who's guess who's controlling the next generation? Guess, guess who's manipulating? Guess who's indoctrinating? Your your children. You know, when your child comes home and they say some silly ass shit, <laughs> you know, and you go outside their head, guess what? The, 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 the school system told them that you don't have the right to go outside their damn heads. You know? That you wrong for that. You're a bad parent. Because you not you don't want to let your child do whatever they want to do. And the ignorance of these children is to think that they've actually decided for themselves. When actually this society has decided for them. You know, just just by the mere fact that somebody gives you a choice means that they've they've actually decided for you. <laughs> But we just don't get it.
You know, we just don't understand. They've actually given you a choice, but they've created the choice themselves. To spread more lies, to spread more confusion, to, you know, have more children question themselves and, and be running away from homes so that they can go into their clutches. Like all of you Hispanics out there, you know, y'all get run into the border. I hope y'all understand that they want your children. They want your children. They want another group of people that they can indoctrinate. See, this is they already know that black people are done with the fucking indoct indoctrination camps. And there's too many voices on the internet speaking out against 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 it. This is too many voices. We can't drown out all of these voices. There's too many. We gotta get these people back to work too many people on the internet talking to each other we can't have that we gotta cancel people you know a boy acts like a boy cancel his ass a girl acts like a girl cancel her ass cancel 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 you know if he said if he's if if he if, if he makes a, a male gesture if a man makes a male gesture, he, if a man makes a male gesture, he is going to be labeled as a, as a brute. You know, and this, this is meant to, this is meant to effeminize your male children. Any sign of a boy being a boy and this is why the world is so dangerous as it is, because it's just not taking the way they want it to, man. These are the growing pains. When you see in these little kids going into the school and they, 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 they shooting up the schools, you know, that means that the indoctrination is not taking. You know, you can only push somebody so far. Children can sense when they I mean even though they might not know that you're that you're you know even though they might not know I mean might not be able to articulate the fact that you are manipulating them uh they they know what you're doing they know you're doing it like I said they might not be able to say or describe what it is that you're doing but they know on a subconscious level that what you're trying to do to them is wrong You know, everything about being a boy is wrong. You know, being a man is wrong. If you keep doing that, what are the men going to be like when um when they come of age? I mean, these dudes are going to be walking around on eggshells, scared to scared to do anything because they might be labeled a boy. You know, that's too masculine. You know, that's that. that you know, you 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 going too far with it. You being too manly. We can't have that. You scaring people. You mean. This is why they got rid of the fathers. This is why they got rid of the fathers out the home. This is why they spread so much propaganda about men. Because men are the authoritarian wing of their households so this is why why they had to push the single mother epidemic we got to get rid of that authority figure in the house the one that's going to put his foot down and say hell no we got to give these women jobs because they're more easy they're easier to manipulate we just tell them oh that man that big bad man he you know he trying to control you you don't need to let him control you, girl. You don't got to listen to him. You don't have to listen to him. You don't need no man telling you what to do. That's toxic masculinity. Where did all these weird ass terms come from? I mean, because these are these are rather new terms. T 
toxic masculinity. You know, where did these where did these terms come from? Out the blue. Cuz this is part of the agenda that they want to push and women are so dumb that if if, if, if I mean most people are, are, are this dumb. They don't stand up for what's right. They only stand up for whatever benefits them. See, that's that's another part of the indoctrination. You know, that's another part. of. I mean, look at the old sitcoms that were on TV. The man is always painted as a buffoon, as an idiot, as, you know, uh, you know, just a, a drunkard, a, 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 a buffoon. And then the poor put upon wife, like shows like, uh, you remember Archie Bunker? Uh, I mean, all, all shows had this same, this same thing. Um, every, every, every single, I mean, most sing situation comedies had this same thing where they always painted the man as a buffoon. Everybody loves Raymond. You know, he was always painted at the as a buffoon and his wife is painted as the poor put upon wife. You know, she got to deal with this buffoon, this idiot. This is the picture that they wanted to paint of men, the uh, the authority in the house. I mean, why should he why should he have no why should he have any authority? He's a damn buffoon. He doesn't deserve to have authority over the home. You know, I mean, they did that on the Cosby show as well. The Cosby show, you know, Heathcliff Huxtable, he was a doctor, but they always painted uh, um, whatever her name was. Um, Y'all know who I'm talking about, his wife, as the... um, as the smarter one, she was always painted as being smarter than than Heathcliff. And even though he's a doctor, he 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 eats hoagie sandwiches. You know he he uh you know he does all kind of silliness. He doesn't eat right, but he's a doctor. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> this is the picture that they paint of men, because like I said, I mean the, the scriptures say that um. Bind the strong man and you can take the house, man. Bind the strong man and you can take the house. So this is about all of this doctrination. It's not about women. Because, you know, women are easy to conquer. You show them something shiny and they and they dumbass is over there smiling and cheesing. You know, I mean, this has happened throughout history. You know, they've always been the spoils of war. And they will always be the spoils of war. Now, I got, I'm getting off a little, a little bit off topic, but uh, certain things need to be said. Um, As I stated, um, sometimes, sometimes it's necessary to change tactics in a war. You know, when you at war, sometimes you you, you wanna you you change tactics. Like, if you know your enemy, if you know your enemies love something that's bad for them, you know, you give it to them. You give them exactly what they love, but in that, you destroy them. That is a that is a clever art of war tactic. You know, you know that your enemies love so like the Asians did to the white man. You know, he knew that the white man was pretty lazy. He was lazy. He was, you know, all he wanted to do was was, you know, conquer the world and and, and poke his chest out. So he so he allowed him to do that. Now the Asian man has become uh, quite troublesome for <laughs> for the white man. 
he's become quite troublesome just by keeping his head down, being the model minority, and uh, now he's a problem. Now, now they, you know, they over, they they wish they could bomb China. China was smart. China was like they were not like Africa. You know, China was like, okay, y'all want us to build, y'all want us to build this for you. We're not gonna build it on your terms. No, what you, we you give us the technology, and we'll build it for you. You know, give us the technology. It wasn't like, oh, see, see. At first, the white dudes try to go over to the Asia, and they was like, look, we want to set up shop. We want to set up our companies over here, and we want to build all this shit over here, so we could keep. So we want to use your your people as labor, you know, so we could keep all that money from them niggers. And, 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 and the people we don't like. We don't want to pay all them taxes either over there in America. You know, but, um, so, the Asian man was like, oh, no, 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 no. You ain't about to set up shop over here. What you're going to do is you're going to give us the technology and we'll build it for you. We'll create a cheap labor force and everything for you. You know? But in giving over all of that technology to the Asians, they were able to learn the technology. You know, they were able to come over here, go to Harvard, Oxford, and wherever MIT, whatever school that they 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 had over here, they were able to learn the technology and take it back over to Asia with them. You know, now they got their own nuclear arsenal. You know, as soon as, you know, when the when the U.S. The U.S. talks about, you know, blowing up a country, Asia, Asia is not the one they trying to blow up. They want that. Now they now they want to talk diplomatically. Now they want to now they want to have peace talks. Now they want to send ambassadors to state, you know, but my point is, is that. Sometimes you got to give your enemies what they want. You know, and you women are about to feel so much pain. You about to get exactly what you wanted. You about to get exactly what you've been bitching for, what you've been crying for this whole time. And then trust me, you ain't going to like it. You know, you you wanted the you wanted this role reversal thing. You you thought you were better than men. Well, guess what? You're going to be the breadwinner. You're going to be out there working all, working your ass off <laughs> while your man, while Ray Ray and them, is on the couch chilling. You know, taking care of the kids. This is what you ask for. Sometimes you got to give your enemies what they ask for, and then they figure out that, that you know, they, they actually didn't want it. <laughs> They didn't really want what they were asking for. Now all of a sudden they want high value men. You know, now you know, nah, y'all gotta fight for you. You you gotta get out there, you gotta fight, you gotta you gotta go to war. Eventually you women are gonna get exactly what you've been asking for. And trust me. Your ass is you your ass is not going to like it. You're not going to like it, man. But as I stated, man. There's such a rush. There's such a need to get your children back into these um back into these indoctrination camps so they could continue to push their agenda where they have control of your children you know when they put you when you when after you dudes get out of got out of high school or after your children get out of high school you know they going to want to go to the to to the these feminist centered ice uh, uh um concentration camps called colleges you know 
like I said, you women go, you women gonna get what you, you, you gonna, you gonna be the slave labor force in the in the near future, and you ain't gonna have nobody to blame but yourself. You know, you ain't gonna have nobody to blame but yourself, cause this is this is what you've been asking for. You know, like I said, after they put you in that that uh these colleges and stuff. Now you sign that you sign another contract, you know, tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt and no guarantee of a job, (laughs) no guarantee of a job. They got what they wanted out of you. All they wanted to do was indoctrinate your dumb ass. You're not promised a fucking job. Okay. No one owes you a job. You ever notice that these, you know, all these women are out here whining, bitching, and complaining, but none of them want to build anything? They simply want to enter into another man's establishment and destroy it and beg for shit, whine for shit. You know, but eventually y'all going to have to start. Y'all going to have to start building for yourself, man. Trust me. You are about to get exactly what you've been begging for, what you've been complaining about. You know, unequal pay. You're going to get it all. But like I said, man, with great power comes great responsibility, man. And you don't want the fucking responsibility. See, you still see these women still want men to take on the responsibility. They just want to reap the rewards of whatever a man builds. You know. Do not trust your children to these concentration camps. Known as the school system. You know. I trust them man anyway brothers on that note I want to say peace hit the comment section let me know what you think get on the five steps and adopt the moral code